Okay, you know, as I mentioned last week, I just launched a blog. I'm pretty mm -hmm. excited about it. It's called Home to Homestead. And the idea is it's all about making my home more self-sufficient. That means everything from reducing waste through composting to producing my own food by gardening and eventually the big goal, raising some chickens, John. Well, today I thought I'd bring you a little taste of my blog through some pretty darn good cookies, okay? These are peanut butter chocolate chip cookies? That That is the deal. And so kind of the idea is... Not made with cilantro. No, I do love cilantro. Okay. Um, but the idea here is part of my, my mission for Home to Homestead is to encourage people to buy more whole foods, right? Instead of buying processed things, buying the whole thing and then making something out of it yourself. So okay. the examples here are oatmeal mm -hmm. and peanuts because what we're going to do, we're going to make these cookies totally whole grain by using oat flour and then also using homemade peanut butter. And it's easier than you might think to make it, okay? okay. So I already made the oat flour and I'll tell you how you do do it. You just buy oats in bulk. It's like the cheapest thing you can do. Buy oats in bulk and then blitz it up in your food processor or your blender. I have a high-powered blender, but mm -hmm. you can do it in pretty much oh, any blender. Oh, this is the Vitamix, yeah. yeah. this is the big guy. This I hauled is, it from my kitchen. This is the only kitchen. thing you love more than your boyfriend. This is true. I do love this Vitamix a Henry lot. Henry takes a close second to this Yes, thing. yes. So I just ground it up and see how those oats turn into basically like a flour. Yeah. See? Okay. So now what we're going to do is do the peanut butter, okay? So we're going to take some peanuts. You need a little help, huh? Um, yeah. You want to measure some out? Sure. So this recipe calls for a cup of peanut butter. So I do like usually a cup and a half or two cups of peanut peanuts and then whatever you have left yeah. over you just end up using so, right okay up. let's take it easy let's take it easy here put the lid on okay and then um, and again you can do this in your food processor if you don't have a Vitamix so most people have that so you turn that up on the high okay that's good and then just start her up okay. that. oh yeah do it just leave it now see how that's gonna grind up and grind up and with this guy Take this stick. Oh. Okay, so what's going to happen eventually? You can see how the bottom is already turning into nut butter. You can oh, do this is. with any kind of nut. You can do this with almonds, cashews, anything, and you just turn it into peanut butter, okay? okay. So I already have some That's going. nuts. <laughs> I already have some going in the mixer over here. This is one stick of butter and the peanut butter that I already have ready to go. Sounds healthy. Sounds pretty good. And then um, we're going to add in the sugar because you whip that until it's all creamy and nice here. And I've been adding in some brown sugar and some regular white sugar. So that is going to mix away. So we got sugar and we got butter. Yeah. I'm not saying this is like the healthiest thing and that you want to eat these breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But if you can swap out some of the refined grains for whole grains, you're going to add a lot of fiber. It's going to keep you a little bit fuller, and then you have peanut butter that doesn't have tons of chemicals in it. Everything is like just a pure good ingredient. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, so then this keeps going. Then we add in the egg. There's a tablespoon of milk and then vanilla ex extract okay. in this jar. You know what I love? What? Worm composting. Oh, boy. I love worm composting, too. And oh, my worms... Wonder, what's going on with the worm composting? Well, the worms are doing really well. I talked about it on the show recently and um, that's my worm composter. I bought the worm, what did it's called? The worm something 360. And inside of there, oh the worm factory 360, thanks. And inside of there are my worms. They live under that newspaper and I take scraps, all my kitchen scraps, see some of my worms in there? Mm -hmm. And I put it in the box they eat through it and it's turning into amazing, super rich compost for my garden. So you can see the idea that you are taking waste that you would have thrown away, instead giving it to the worms to eat, making it into something that I would have to go and buy compost from the garden store, right. and instead just pumping it right into my garden. And get happy worms. And happy worms and then happy plants, right? Wow. You like it? It's so far so good. Okay, so now I'm going to add, this is a mixture of whole wheat pastry flour. This is my favorite baking trick. I use it for virtually everything because it's a whole grain flour, but it's really light. There's baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And would you pour that oat flour in here too, John? Of course I would. Thank you so much. Other people say, I made these cookies. You are really, really helpful. And then um, we just mix this up. And then another trick that I like, as soon as this gets incorporated, is to use a mixture of half milk chocolate, half dark chocolate chips. And I think you're really going to like this, John. Because okay, we'll see. It adds, you know I like the milk chocolate. I know. So we're just going to throw about a half a cup you of milk. You only each. want me to be half pleased, Keep right? Keep eating those. Okay. You can have some snacks of those. All right. And then half of that. And then you just put them into little balls, throw them on your baking sheet, and bake them away for about eight 
minutes at 350 and then you do as John is doing and you try the cookies and you tell me if you can tell that's whole grain flour in there. Mm. Actually, what I really love about it is the whole grain flour. It's delicious. <laughs> you cannot tell that it has whole grain flour. Do you like those? It's fantastic. They're really good. Yes, I know that. And then hopefully that's why you brought them on the... Oh, boss says I know best cookie said. that she's ever had. <laughs> How about that? That is pretty home exciting. Home to homestead, home to riches. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, so, this, so. Is, this is an example of a small thing. You don't have to go crazy and worm compost right away if you're not ready for it, but just buying things in their whole form and then making it at home is really fun for kids and a great way to get some whole foods in Yeah. So we have a link to Elizabeth's blog, Home to Homestead, on our website, and then you can get this recipe there as well. You can take it as your own and you can make a lot of money by selling <laughs> it to somebody else and call it the best cookie our boss has ever had. Uh, so you go to Twin CitiesLive.com, click on food.